Freedom and welcome to KNNZ. We will now cross over to Stacey with a story about parking. Hi, my name is Stacey and I'm here to tell you where and where not to park. You can park down there. And you can even park around the corner. But don't park where that car is parking because if the buses come in, then I have to stop behind it and then all the other buses will come in and then it'll just be a disaster because the cars won't be able to get out. And another reason is for child and staff safety because down here at Kaitau we don't want anyone getting hurt. And now back to Baden at the studio. Thank you Stacy. We will now cross over to Isabel with a story about the gardens. Hi, my name is Isabel and I am here interviewing Mr. Appley about the gardens. Good morning. Good morning. What sort of things do you want us to do with the gardens? Um, I want you to be able to weed, grow and um, look after, maintain your own garden, you know, vegetable or plant garden. Why do we have the gardens? Um, so that we can learn that there are other ways of surviving, so we can learn about some sustainability, so we can learn to grow our own vegetables and our own fruits, and rather than having to go to the shop all the time. How did we enter the competition? Um, you just come and see me and I will there's about three plots left. Most of the plots are taken, but there's three plots left. You just get a group of five or six students and come and see me and I'll take over the garden and show those plots for yours. And that's how you start. What kind of plants are you looking at planting? Well, really it's up to the students what they want to plant, but what they've got to look at is what sort of things grow at this time of the year. So things like um, cauliflowers, cabbages, and that sort of thing grow really well. You can grow beans, peas, strawberries. It's really a matter of looking at the diary to find out what sort of food you're growing now because some foods is too late to plant. When is the competition? The competition goes all of this term and it'll finish in week 10 and then we'll, uh, we'll tell you who the winner is then and then we'll have the gardens at the end of the term so it'll go for the whole term. Do we win anything for this competition? Yes, you get a um, free lunch for a week. So you get a week of free lunches for all your team members. Thank you. Now back to Braden and the studio. Thank you, Isabel. Well, I'm not, now cross over to Ethan with events you can do over the weekends. Hello, my name is Ethan and I'm here to tell you what you can do this weekend in Rotorua. Getting a bit hot but also want a bit of exercise? Head on down to the Redwoods where you can go biking. It's a place where you, you can do some hiking, horse riding if you have a horse. You can, your kids can finally wander around with lots of space, playing with water pistol or nerf guns. While you're at the Redwoods, you should probably bring some water so you don't get dehydrated if you're jogging or if your kids are running around. It's also a good place for a picnic. If you've only got a few dollars in your wallet and you want to get something really cheap, then pop on over to the Queto Park Market. It's on every Saturday in the morning at the market. You can also find food, drinks, clothes, toys for your kids, secondhand stuff and there's also heaps of new items. While you're at the Quito Park Market, you can also check out the mud pools all around the area. There's also a warm foot bath to relax your feet in. And now it's back to breeding. Thank you, Ethan. It looks like we can do some interesting stuff over the weekends. We'll now move over to Jacinta interviewing the new teachers. Hello, my name is Jacinta and I'm here interviewing Fire Kristen about being the new teacher here at Kaito. Hello, Fire Kristen. Hello, Jacinta. So, how do you feel about entering Kaitau? Um, I was very nervous to begin with, and now it's great. I've settled in and everyone's wonderful. Uh, um, do you like Kaitau's singing? Yes, I still need to learn the songs though. So, I'm, I'm kind of getting there. I need my class to give me some lessons. Does your class impress you? They do when they listen. Most of the time, they f sometimes they forget, but they're, they're getting there. Do you play an instrument? No. I learnt the keyboard for a week, and now I've forgotten. And now I'm going to go to an interview with Martel Charles. Hi, I'm Justin Tan. I'm here with Martel Charles, interviewing him about being a new teacher at High Town Middle School. Kia ora, Martel Charles. Kia ora, Jacinta. How do you feel about entering High Town Middle School? Well, um, I feel very privileged and very honoured to be here and also to be a part of uh, the whānau within um, Kaitau Middle School. Do you like Kaitau Middle School singing? Yes, I do. Um, 
what do I like about it? Uh, the fact that uh, nowadays, especially in Kaitau, we're singing songs that you hear on the radio and songs that uh, children enjoy singing. Whereas back in our day, we used to sing a lot of songs that we didn't quite like. Do you like Kaitau and why? Uh, what I love about Kaitau is the fact that they have awesome values and one of the main values that stick out for me is Kia Puawai i rotu i te whanaungatanga and uh, for me family is very important. Do you enjoy teaching in Te Punareo? Yes, I do. I love it in Te Punareo. We have an awesome team and we have awesome students here um, in Te Punareo and school-wide and I'm enjoying every moment of it. Um, do you like playing guitar and why? Yes, I play the guitar. I love playing the guitar because it is a passion and it has been my passion for, I think, since I was 12 years old. So, yeah, I, um, I do like playing guitar, yes. OK, that's all. Back to Braden in the studio. Thank you, Jacinta. It's good to see new faces in the school, other than students. We will now cross over to Courtney with sports. Hi, my name's Courtney and this is KNZ Sports. First up, we have the sports camp with Caden who will be giving us information about the events. Hi, my name is Caden and here I am with Mato Andrew, our sports coordinator. And I'm just here to ask him a couple of questions about sports camp. And so do you think you have the right people in your teams to take out sports camp? Well, I hope to have the right team within about eight weeks. At present, I have a big tally of 110 students who that I have to cut down to 60 and then I've got to cut them down to 40. So hopefully by the end of eight weeks we will have a top, the top 40 students in Kaitau representing us. So do you think you and the students will come back as winners? Um, this year I believe we can come back as winners because we are, we've learnt a lot from our mistakes from last year when we come third. So hopefully this year we're going to come home with the goal. So how are you feeling about this as sports camp? Uh, sport camps this year, I'm feeling very, very positive. I have a good unit of staff who go with me and we have learned a whole heap of stuff to take back to get us going for this year. So when will most of the sport competitions be starting? Sport camp starts in Term 3 and we train right from now right up to Term 3 and it's on the 15th of August we go to school. Okay. okay, thank you for your time, Mata Andrew. Thank you. Thanks, Caden. Now we'll have the interviews with the Beep Test Runners and Braden. Over to you guys. Shabit, how does it feel to make the Beep Test record? Pretty good. Do you need to improve on anything? Uh, my fitness, yeah, maybe my speed. Do you think you can get a higher score next time? Uh, maybe a couple more. And how do you plan on doing that? Not as much McDonald's. <laughs> Thanks for your time, Chavez. We will now be moving on to Kane Hakaraya. I am here with K um, Kane Hakaraya. Sure. How does it feel to make a beep test record? Mm, good. Do you need to improve on anything? Yeah, my fitness. Do you think you can get a higher score next time? Mm, yeah. My goal is to get platinum. And how do you, how do you plan on doing that? Going for more runs, getting fitter and stuff like that. Thank you. Thanks, Braden. Now we're going to cross over to Caden with the school sports. So here I am again with Mato Andrew, our sports coordinator, and I'm just asking him a few questions about our school sports this year. So what sports do you have available for us this year? Uh, sports we have available this year, we have volleyball, netball, basketball, rugby, rugby sevens, gymnastics, and we're introducing league this year, it will be for the first time of Kaitau, as well as, and we have football. And so which of those ones will be starting very shortly? Um, starting within the next week we have touch, volleyball and gymnastics. Okay, so thank you for your time, Mata Andrew. Thank you. Thanks, Caden. Now we're going to head back over to Braden. Thank you, Courtney, for the interesting update on sports. We'll now cross over to Jacinta with the weather forecast. 
Hello, my name is Jacinta and I'm here with Katie and Lindsay Wheeler. In Rotorua, today, we will be an all afternoon shower with light winds. Maximum temperature 22 degrees, minimum 13. On Saturday, there will be fine possible showers with westerlies developing. Mi maximum 23 degrees, minimum 13. On Sunday, you'll find westerlies dying out. Maximum 23 degrees, minimum 12. Monday it will be dry with little wind, maximum 22 degrees, minimum 12. In total, today it will be a fine possible afternoon shower with sea breezes, maximum temperature 22 degrees, minimum 16. On Saturday it will be fine, westerly is developing, maximum temperature 23 degrees, minimum 14. On Sunday it will be fine, it will be fine with westerly is dying away. Maximum temperature 23 degrees, minimum 13. On Monday, it will be dry with not much wind. 24, maximum 24 degrees, minimum 15. Pufakatane, oh, today, there will be fine possible afternoon shower with sea breezes. Maximum temperature 23 degrees, minimum 16. On Saturday, it will be fine with westerlies developing. Maximum 23 degrees, minimum 13. On Sunday, it will be fine, it will be fine with westerlies dying away. Maximum temperature 24 degrees, minimum 13. On Monday, it will be dry with not much wind. Maximum temperature 24 degrees, minimum 14. Now back to Brady. Thank you Jacinta for the weather forecast. And thank you for watching KNNZ. I'll see you next week.